Hey guys, it's Jack from Tech Let's Plays here, and today I'm bringing you the first of many, hopefully, um, of my Let's Play on Football Manager 2011. Uh, I'm managing Crystal Palace, and I've basically skipped all the pre-season. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I will go through what I did in pre-season, who I've signed. Uh, in terms of staff, um, I sacked my youth coach and got in this guy, Tosh Farrell, uh, Take a look at his stats. Uh, 20 working with youngsters, which is great. 17 technical. Uh, good attacking and defending stats. And um, judging player potential, which is quite important when working with youngsters, I guess. And uh, his level of discipline could be a little bit higher and determination could be a little bit higher, but uh, good good, good um, investment there. Uh, Steve Kemba, a scout I got. Uh, working with youngsters is good again. Uh, both of these pretty good. 15, it's all right, and um, yeah, and good man management. Um, John Brearley, um basically his fitness coach. He's got 16 fitness and 20 determination, so thought he'd be a really good uh, solid worker there. Uh, I I was so close to getting Tony Cotton um, as an assistant manager. I was like 25 quid off on the contracts. But never mind. Um, who else did I get? Um, oh yeah, I got a physio in uh, this guy. 19 physiotherapy. Uh, good determination and level of discipline. So that is good. And I think I'm in the process of getting one more, uh, one more staff in, and I'm pretty sure he's a scout. Um, yeah. So new signings. Uh, I got Oliver Capo, he's really really good stats and stuff and uh, good uh, attacking midfielder which is what I'm playing. Uh, Julia Cruz got him on a free, just thought I might as well get his last season. Um, Kaim Malkache, I <laughs> uh, just thought I'd get him in for a bit of experience and uh, yeah. Um, who else here is new? Oh yeah, here we go, uh, Fabian Brandy. Uh, Czech Karuma, Devin Yao, Jan Nakasaku, and Omar Karina. Loads of young players that are going to really uh, crop up. And I saw them on the internet quite a lot. <clears throat> that they were very, um, very good, like youngsters. I did sell Paddy McCarthy for 1.2 million and Wilfred Zahar for 1.2 million. So, uh, yeah, let's just quickly take a look at finances. Everything's going good. And yeah so everything's in order which is good and this is the first game and it will be against Ipswich so interesting game to start off with and uh, yeah squad numbers auto number there we go normally I do give it if they've got preference but yeah um, submit team yes Right, so let's get this going. Um, I've been playing Football Manager for, I don't know, the past week. I'm sort of getting quite familiar with it. I've always played it on my iPod Touch, but there's a lot more on the uh, full version. Uh, match analysis, let's see here. Palace favourites, which is good. And uh, first home game. Right. Right, let's go hard on him, and there was one player that they said go tackle hard on, could have been that guy, not sure, hmm. well, I don't think he's playing, but let's, uh, let's go straight on to the team talk, right, uh, let's see the feedback, some players like, there's problems blending in, Mm -mm -mm. Well, let's just go. Match preparation. Um, all right. Well, these are getting up there, and then we'll do team blend. But let's get into the match. Let's go. All right. Let's, let's go. Turn this down. Make it a little bit slower so we can see. Hey, one nil. God, this all. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't need to look at that. I don't need that. Ooh. 
you there for that sunshine. Right, let's, uh, let's see if we can pop up the uh, league table and we can watch it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try over this series and sort of be the commentator in the match scenario. So let's uh, start off here. All right, Bull's gone out for a goal kick. Junior Spruny to take it. There's a throw in deep into the pass, hard crossing by Kennedy. Led better out to McCauley. Shots gone wide, comes to nothing. It's uh, Chris Palace's home. home and it's a goal from the corner. Darren Ambrose into Gardner at the back post. Great goal. Great header into the bottom right hand corner of the goal. Phillip was just stood there helpless. And 2-0, uh, uh, Chris Palace take a good lead. And uh, it's set. Darren Ambrose down the right hand side, puts him into Garvin, it's a good shot, it's so close for the young central midfielder of Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace taking more control set up of the game, they want to try and play to their own tempo and sort the chances out. Uh, here's Priskin for Ipswich, cleared by Bennett, Vaughan heads it on down the, down the channel. O'Day out to Kennedy on the left hand side for Ipswich, back into Ledbetter down the middle of the park. Priskin is through the middle of the park, he shoots, it's gone over. It's gone over, a good chance for Ipswich to, to maybe scrape on back in these early stages of the game. We're about half hour gone now, it's Connor from Garvan, and into the back post but it goes over. Um, it appears someone's taken a knock, uh, it should be alright and I'm sure Chris Pass will take a look at that. And it's Vaughan that's taken the knock, but he seems to be alright as he passes into Capo out to Garvan. Out to right, back to Garvan. Garvan plays it through for Ambrose. Good effort. And it's half time at Selhurst Park. So, team talk, encourage. Um, yeah, that seems good. Uh, Vaughan, is he alright to play? James Vaughan has taken a knock, but should be able to shake it off. Okay. Um, struggle to control possession. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's cancel and um, retain possession. It's a free kick for Ipswich. Played to the edge of the box, but Vaughan now breaks down the left hand side. It's Vaughan into the box, pass it to Marrow, but the shot is going way wide of the target. And that will be a relief, and it looks like. Capo has taken the knock, but is uh, somewhat down. So let's go ahead and pause the game and get someone else on. Let's get Kwanda Jali into the right mid and let's get Julio Cruz's home debut and see what he can do in the last half hour or so. We'll save one substitution just in case someone else gets taken the knock. And a little bit to Clark. Clark runs through, takes a long shot, but it's gone over. Obviously, a sigh of relief there for Crystal Palace. They still lead by two goals to nail at the hour mark. Uh, substitution's taking place now, and uh, let's see if Julio Cruz can make an impact on his first home debut for Crystal Palace. Pull up with the, uh, the kick to Kennedy. Back to Delano. Led better in the middle of the park. It's nice. Preskin plays it through for Clark, intercepted by Wright. Back to Speroni. Spironi clears to Gardner, back to Spironi. Right on the right, right hand side, clears it. And that's Ipswich on the right hand side with Carlos Edwards. Gonna play a ball into the box and it's gone in. It's a third goal and I think that'll go down as a Spironi end goal but he's, he's crossed it and it's gone swerved out into the goal and I think Spironi's just got a hand to it and it's gone into his own net. And there's Crystal Palace in the return, a good header, but it's been like a goal kick. Good, good chance to uh, get back a two goal cushion. And that's Peters on the right hand side, plays it to Priskin. Norris in the middle of the park, switches it to Kennedy, just about keeps it in play. There is Martin on the left hand side, Martin crosses Norris to Clark, and it's just looped over the crossbar. So a good, another good chance from Ipswich, this is good pressure they're putting on. And uh, I think I'm just going to make one more substitution. Alex Maro can come off and we can put... No, that 
that's not a good idea. Um, who can replace Mario? No, I don't want to do that substitution. Oh, I just cancelled. Oh, that's sad. Uh, let's get back into the game. Uh, Edwards, on that hand side, it's Peters. It's Priskin and it's a goal. I can't believe they've done it. Two minutes from the end, Ipswich have got a late equaliser. And Palace will be kicking themselves. And that is a real blow to the box. Dominating pretty much the whole game, but the last spell, they just slipped under the enormous pressure that Ipswich put on. And here is Ambrose down the left hand side. Maybe a quick counter to take the lead again in the late stages of the game. It's Dajali and it's saved by Fuller. Great save and a very important one in this late stage of the game. Here is Garvan. Palace still on the attack. It's Dajali on the right side. Cuts inside. It's in die. It's deflected, but it's still.